Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So to create this look, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsession Palette and I'm also going to be using her Contour and Strobe Lip Set. So to start, I'm just going to just remove any extra oil that's on my face and I'm going to be using the Ordinary High Adherence. This is their primer. I really like this. I find that this doesn't clog my pores. So I'm just gonna blend that in nice and smooth and then I'm gonna move on to the ColourPop Crystal Lip Balm. I like this for just keeping my lips smooth before I add any lip products. So moving on, I'm gonna quickly do my brows for you guys. Um, if you wanna see a full brow tutorial, guys, let me know. I haven't done one in a while, but uh, this is just a quick brow look I'm doing. I'm not going into any details uh, to create this brow. So yeah, let me know if you want me to just focus on the brows separately. So that pencil that I'm using is by Lancome and the color is called Brunette and it's a dual ended pencil with the spoolie on one end and the pencil color on the other. So next I'm moving into my concealer. I'm just going to uh, even up and make my brows look neat underneath. I'm using the MAC concealer in NC NW40 and that brush I'm using is by Smashbox that came in the kit that I received years ago. Next, I'm going to be using a paint pot by MAC. This color is called Painterly. And the brush I'm using is like a tapered blending brush by MAC. And I'm just putting the Painterly on my lids to prime my lids to get ready for the eyeshadow. But before I do that, I'm going to be using the Sasha Buttercup Press Powder and a, another blending brush just to set the Painterly paint pot. And that helps to prevent creasing. As you can see, I have all three of Huda Beauty palettes. I absolutely love these palettes, guys. They are super, super pigmented. So much pigmented that it actually gave me a little bit of extra work to do in blending. But anyway, so I'm going to start. This is what they look like. And I'm going to use this color right here at the corner, at the top. And I'm going to put that above my crease area. And guys, I just tap the brush onto the color and it literally just deposits a lot of color where you have to really blend. So you really have to take your time and just use a little bit at a time or you'll just have a lot of extra work with blending. But I absolutely love this color. I love this palette. Super pigmented, a little goes a long way. Uh, yeah, so you just like me, like I did, I just added too much. Right now I was wiping off my brush so that I could go in and sort of blend out the edges a little bit and just make the crease color look even. So I'm gonna go down at the bottom and pick up that deeper color and I'm gonna put it directly into the crease area just to give some definition between the um, transition color and the crease color. And I'm literally just, just dipping the brush into the color. It is so pigmented. and just blending. So here I went back in with a clean brush and I'm just blending out the edges of the transition color just so it looks nice and diffused. So now I'm going to use this pink shimmery color right here. I'm going to use that on my mobile lid and uh, that is so beautiful guys and it just it's just so pigmented. You can't even see through this color. It just goes on solid and it feels creamy soft also. So right now I'm just lining my eyes with my crease color, uh, my lower lash line, just lining it in and I'm putting in the lower corner that shimmery color that I applied to my lid. So right now I'm using MAC, this is the Giggle Black Mascara. So very quickly I'm going to apply my lashes, just get those on so we can move on. So next I'm using the MAC Chromaline Gel Liner in Black. And I love this. I haven't used this in years. I just wanted to go back and just revisit it. I absolutely love this. Just goes on nice and smooth. But next I'm using my favorite foundation. It's the YSL All Hours Foundation and my color is Mocha B70. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of powder 
of this Urban Decay Velvetizer onto the onto the foundation to make it more of like a thicker foundation so I can get a very full coverage. Uh, this covers my pores, it covers any imperfections on my face when I use the two products together. And um, I have a video on me um, demonstrating how to use this if you're interested. Uh, let me know and I'll link it to you. And it just goes on smooth and it dries down very, very nicely. Uh, the one thing that I have learned from using the two combinations is that I have to make sure I blend the product in very, very well. Uh, just going over and just blending. And so that right now I'm using a smaller e.l.f. powder brush, blush brush really, and I'm just smoothing out the foundation, making sure that it's part of my skin. So right now I'm using my MAC concealer. It's, it's warm tone, but it's light enough to be a nice highlight. I don't like really bright highlight, but I like a nice highlight. And I'm using another e.l.f blush brush at, just to apply some powder. As you can see, this brush has a label on it. I put a sticker on it to identify the two brushes that I have. So right now I'm using my Makeup Geek um, Contour Kit. This is a kit that you create at the site, guys. You buy each piece separately. And um, yeah, so I've had this for about a year and a half. I absolutely love it. The color I'm using is called, uh, I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, so I'm using my contour and yeah and this highlight the, the name more of this highlight guys but i believe this is by ofra and the name of it is you do you you do you i think that's from ofra and i'm just going to put that on and blend it down because i don't like a lot of highlight not a lot so right now i'm going to take my derma blend powder and my foundation brush the color i'm using of course you see is warm saffron I'm just going to go over the areas of my face and blend off a lot of the other setting powder that I had put on. Some of the Sasha. I didn't show you me putting that on, but I did. And so right now I'm just going in with that warm saffron powder just to make the color look a little more even and smooth. And as you can see here, guys, I wanted to show you how smooth my skin looks. This is before I use my setting spray. So right now I'm going to have fun with this contour and strobe lip kit by Huda Beauty and uh, this is called Trophy Wife and Shameless. So the pencil is called Trophy Wife. The lip, the lip cream, the lipstick is the liquid lipstick is matte guys. It's called Trophy Wife and the lip gloss is called Shameless. But I'm going to be using my MAC pencil to line my lips. This color is called Burgundy. And I just need, I just like a little bit of a darker edge around my, my natural lip line. So I'm, I like to use darker shades. So I won't be using the Huda Beauty uh, pencil, not today. And uh, yeah, just lining my lips. And then I'm going to apply the liquid matte lipstick. That's pretty. So when the lipstick wears off, or if it wears off, this will be left on my lips. So that color is really pretty. And that color again is called burgundy. So now this is the liquid uh, lipstick. It's matte. It doesn't really dry super matte. It doesn't dry down to, it looks very dry. It looks sort of satiny a little bit, but this color is called Trophy White. And right now I, I just layered a little bit of the Shameless on top of it. And that's the look guys. You, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe. And please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you love the look. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.